All right, guys, jumping back into the tournament for X Potion, but more so Elite Defense. We are taking on the Albed Sykes. Guado Glory's taking on the Kilika Beasts. So let's jump in. Should be a good time. Should be a fun game. So let's see what we have to also uh, tech copy. It's funny because, like, most everything we have to tech copy now is antis, which we can, I will say, we can force them out. Like, if we really try for it, we could specifically equip, like, you know, nap pass. Oh, shoot, we can't really do that, can we? We said we wouldn't use nap pass three. I mean, well, we could. Like, use nap pass one or two. Something like that. And we could, like, try to bait out, like, the anti-naps, the anti-venoms and stuff. I'm actually not that concerned about it. Um, I probably should be more concerned, but I really do want to somewhat uh, play this game as naturally as I can. So yeah, we're just going to start out. We're going to pass to Jasu here. And then similar to pre previous games, we are going to hopefully, fingers crossed, toes crossed, set up Waka for a slam dunk of a goal. So yeah, we encounter Blappa. And then looky here, Waka's free. I was I was I was ready for that to just like miss somehow like I was I was gonna lose the ball and then I'm just bragging already like oh Waka's free and he's gonna score and then turns out I don't even have the ball anymore. Is it still 97? It is. Interesting. Alright, so Barrick with the ball. So Barrick is going to be pushing um, midfield here. Well, mid-right. I, I guess the argument is they always push midfield. By, by definition, you know. There's no other place to go. Uh, pass to Eager will complete. So Eager's, Eager with the ball. He's See, this is what I don't like. The AI is just not making good decisions. Like, Eager could have been devastating. But instead, he swam around the circle. Like, this is okay. Like, this might end, end, end in a goal, which is really good. But the, the play up to it is just so shameful. I just don't... I have no respect for the Albed Sykes here. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. And now they're going to pass the Eager. I, they, I mean, I'm going to be honest. They don't deserve to make it. I mean, they should have made it a long time ago. But this is just ridiculous. And you're letting Jasu just ravage your players, man. Just absolutely ravage them. All right, well, we're going to push up just to set up Waka. I mean, that's the I mean, that's the best thing we can do. Um, I guess we could pass to Dotto. Although, if I'm honest, I'm not positive Dotto would make it. He's He has been up right against the goal and failed to score against Nimro, which is not shameful. I'm not trying to throw Dotto under the, under the bus or anything, but... Nimrok is an insane goalie, and we need an insane shot to win these. And that's Orok's spirit. So it is going to be 2-0, and that is going to use up all of Waka's Orok's spirit energy. I mean, once you think about it, like once he has like three available, oh, it's it's game over. Like he's just gonna have too much. There's gonna be too much Waka going on. Barrick though encountering Waka, then proceeding to push uh, forward. I don't really like this because this is a lot of pressure, and the Wither does expire on endurance just in time. But there's Jasu again to re-enable it. You know he's just he's just sending it back again. I wanna yeah I was gonna say I wanna pull defenders away at least a little bit because if I if I even pull them away. A little bit, Dotto can just have a massive leap towards Nimrod. He's so fast. He's got like 81 speed. He's he cannot be caught by any mere blitzball player. So yeah, we're gonna go for the shot, and and this is the shot we could miss. As crazy as that sounds, grip gloves active, super goalie active. Nimrod's insane. That's what I'm telling you guys. Nimrod is simply built different. So you're going to have Eager here kind of 
juke and weave, dodge and duck, whatever you want to say. Uh, just trying to get any sort of uh, traction, but to go down 2-0 into the second half is... I mean, there's no coming back, right? By definite, I mean, that is just game over. I don't really see a, a team coming back from that. They would, have, they would have had to at least score like once in this half, and then it's very, it's a very big if, even then. But yeah, a little bit of experience for them, Nimrok levels up, a little bit for us. 35 for Jasu in his like seven wither tackle threes he did. Uh, Jasu level 28, more HP, endurance, block. So I like that, I like that. And as you can tell, I mean, my levels are all sorts of wrong and just broken and busted, but I like it this way. I want to just kind of play naturally for the remainder of the entire series and see how it goes. Uh, I might I might weaken as it goes on. If I go to match, like, you know, number 1,200, I might just be like, you know what, guys? We're just going to move keep out of the goalie box because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but for now, for now, we're just... Uh, we're just playing, playing as naturally as we can. The idea here is we're going to make the game so unbalanced with uh, levels and such that as, um, or win, like Waka's like level 99 or something, and, you know, keep is like level 50, a level like 75 Blappa can, can shoot at keep all day. Like, it's the one thing that we kind of hope for because it does allow for some semblance of experience gain for Keepa, while also doing it in a fairly fairly legitimate way, I think. Uh, that's that's my theory. I don't know if it's actually going to go that way, because we have never tried this before. We've never played a journey and not done pass grinding. I mean, ever. I, I think even the original one, the Journey to the Perfect Blitzball team, I think we never did that, because it always was deemed, um, like, necessary. I mean, that being said, deemed necessary by me. So that was, I mean, it's a personal decision. I was, I, I'd always thought like this is the thing I gotta do, but maybe not. All right, well, we're gonna have Waka. Um, I just got a regular tackle. I don't know, I don't see the value of the Wither Tackle 3 because I use HP, and it, was, it happened last half actually. I use HP. I probably don't get the ball. I use a rock spear, and then I've I've used my one wither tackle three of the day. Meanwhile, I have the monster Jasu here, ready to just use wither tackle threes all day because he doesn't do anything but that. All right, well let's pass to Waka here and give him an opportunity to score. There's an argument for pushing up, but I think we just stop right here because we avoid the encounter, and the reduction of shoot from the distance we're at would not be near the reduction we would see if Lake Am touches the ball. Grip Gloves active. I mean, is there really any chance? There it is. Four to zero. All right, so you're going to see uh, Barrick here in the midfield. We're going to wither tackle through. Dotto also wither tackling through. Not able to get the ball. I'm very surprised about that. I had high hopes that we would steal the ball in that encounter, but that is not what happened. Shut down a little bit by Barrick. I mean, at this point, though, perfect. That's what we were looking for. And then we can kind of just like swim away as much as we can. And then maybe just set up uh, Dotto for some success. Find out here momentarily. Okay. Or the other option is we get swarmed. That's also an option. I don't feel comfortable taking double tackle, but after that first tackle, it might have been better than what we're doing here. Letty? Oh, unlucky. So Judah does claim the ball and... I mean, if I'm honest with you guys, do we even care? It's 4-0 right now. I mean, this is just an absolute an absolute funeral for this team. Like, I don't, you know, you can't you can't feel good here. All right, yeah, well, we're going to have, uh, yeah, Dotto just push up and do what he can. 
do what he must. Nimrick is going to pass all the way out to Eager, and this could result in a goal. If Eager wasn't withered, and the Albed Sykes weren't silly and stupid. But it could. Um, I don't think we have Sphere Shot Tech Copy, but... Oh wait, we do. Bada's level's too low. I mean, it's understandable. I messed up the Spin Ball again. That's a shame. Oh, Blap claims. This could translate into experience for Keepa. Let's see what happens. Uh, no. I, I want the guaranteed experience for Jasu. I'm done. I'm done with False Hope. Alright, well, we're going to pass over to Dotto. Really, we're just killing time. Like, it's... There's not really a lot that's going to happen here. There's 20 seconds. Um, there's no way that a Sphere Shot happens that is actually valuable. Like, it really isn't, right? I mean, there's no... There's, there's just no time. We wouldn't have enough time to tech copy it, so... Yeah, it is going to be 4-0. That is going to be the final score. But it wasn't a lost game or anything. It was it was a good experience game. A lot of experience for Jasu there. Um, Jasu level 29. More HP pass. Keep a level 19. More HP endurance pass catch. It's good stuff. Anyways, we are going to see the Beasts win 1-0 against the Gories. And we are going to win 4-0 against the Outbed Sykes. That's what makes it three, uh, three game win streak against them. I'll take it. I like how everyone still won, <laughs> even Dotto. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.